Okay, so if you are heading out to maybe some area lakes today to enjoy that Lucky. holiday, make sure that you are keeping your eyes on the sky, right, Michael? Exactly right. We've got a chance for a few storms to pop up as we go into the afternoon to early evening. I don't think it's going to be necessarily a washout, but if you're on a lake and a thunderstorm <laughs> rolls in, not exactly the safest spot to be. So just keep an eye to the sky in case one of those storms happens to pop up nearby. Temperature wise, seasonably hot, we'll call it. Average high would be right into the low 90s. I think most of us into the mid 90s this afternoon, so nothing too unusual, just slightly above the average but do watch for those storms to pop up into the afternoon hours. And again, with those temperatures in the low to mid 90s this afternoon, do what you can to stay hydrated and cool as well. Again, a pool or lake, great idea to cool off uh, if you can manage to do that. As we head through the evening hours, we will have some of those storms around through the first part of the evening. But as the sun sets and we lose that daytime heating, those should quickly fade away by late tonight. However, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some redevelopment tomorrow morning. So let's take a look at where the highest chances will be over the next couple of days. So that includes 4th of July for today. I think later today, basically take a line here from about Pawnee to Tulsa through Muskogee and Wagner and then down through Stigler. And even as you head almost to near Poto and then go south and west of that line, that's probably where we're going to have a little higher chance to get a few storms to pop up. But there still may be a couple isolated storms farther to the north and to the east. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, we may see redevelopment take place, especially from Tulsa to the north and to the west. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll watch this kind of push its way to the south and east and it'll fall apart as it does so. And there's still maybe a couple isolated storms hanging on here tomorrow afternoon and evening. I 40 and southward. So if you're going to be out on Lake Eufaula, uh, just kind of keep that in mind tomorrow afternoon or perhaps uh, along the Kerr, uh, just kind of keep that in mind as well. I think for fireworks displays tomorrow night, I think everybody's going to be in pretty good shape, so I don't think we'll have to worry about nature's fireworks having an impact on those fireworks displays for the 4th of July. Here's what we've got over Brookside this morning. Really a nice start to the day. Great sunrise this morning. Some high level clouds filtering through comfortable temperature 60s to low 70s. And as mentioned, as we warm things up this afternoon, I would not be surprised if we get a few spotty storms to develop. Not everybody it's going to get rain, but there will be some of us to pick up some rain. Good news, overall severe threat not looking extremely high. May get some gusty winds out of a few of these storms, but I'm not expecting uh, anything widespread severe by any means. And again, by tomorrow afternoon, we'll keep an eye mostly to the south where we could get a few isolated storms that pop up. So for the 4th of July, I think we'll have a chance for a few storms tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, Tulsa definitely looking dry tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, mid 90s for highs, but south, we may still hold on to that isolated storm going into tomorrow. And then as we head through the end of the week, how about this cool down highs in the 80s Thursday and Friday back into the 90s over the weekend. But notice every day we've got a chance for a few showers and storms. So we'll be, be uh, fine tuning those rain chances as we go over the next few days. We'll take you into next week coming up in the next half hour.